My name's Cherry Like Fruit. I love you on the show. You're oh, a bit of a you. bad guy. Uh, but, I, you know, uh, by accident. You're a bad guy by accident. By, yeah, okay. All right. But more importantly, you're charming. You have a delightful accent. So I would forgive you anything. Me or Connor? I'm a bit confused now. Uh, Connor, yeah. Me is a different story altogether. Connor, Connor, Connor is misunderstood, sure, but he's also very compromised. He took the money, didn't he? He took the Rittenhouse money. It's a lot of money. And he paid the price, you know. You, you, you dance with the devil, and that's what you get, you know. You, but get, you get your toes stepped on. He got stepped on, and last week he got really stepped on. That was wrong. Unnecessary, wasn't it? Yes. Unnecessary. I think both the writers and uh, Denise Christopher were, ul were, were ultra cruel. They yes. didn't need to do that. That was a bit what we call extra. Yes. They didn't have to go over the top like that. It was super humiliating to really squash his spirit. And mm -hmm. I, I feel it's not an effective way for him to be a member of the team. No, why not do it afterwards? She already knows. She said to the other guys, look, he's feeling a bit delicate. His whole you know, industry has been crushed. All his money, all his power is gone. People he knows who he hired have died in that explosion. I'm just making her feel bad now. <laughs> and then she publicly humiliates him. Why? Why couldn't she wait till he's finished the speech and then yes. quietly say to him, Connor, let's go. Come on. That was that was mean. That was like that was like beyond a that was almost an abusive mother situation. Abusive mother, yeah. You, as they say in Jamaica, who can't hear must feel. <laughs> and so she wanted me to feel it because she'd already said to me, "Don't go." So fair enough. It's really strange, you know, because we're all adults. Some of us are really powerful in the show. You know, we have a really our jobs are powerful and we're incredibly intelligent. And yet we all just work as a family. And we have a sort of slightly nagging mother in Agent Christopher. We have a sort of um, slightly uh, uh, standoffish father who's a little bit, you're not doing it quite right. And then you have these kids, you know, um, Gia and Rufus, who are just like unruly. Everybody's sort of slightly behaving like a member of a family. It's great. I'm really enjoying how your character is, d is changing because... You were an administrator for a while, so you kind of forgot the science. Now you're coming back to the science. Yes. And I feel like they're really going to start highlighting more of your contribution because it was sort of like you in the background for a little bit for the I'm, first couple of episodes. I'm really glad you said that. I mean, I was asking uh, the writers because they've got a lot to do and there's a whole all, awful lot of characters to, to cover. I was begging them last year, can you just do a bit more of the pilot, Mason? Because mm -hmm. at the moment, of course, this is in the middle of uh, season one, all he's doing is the sort of Machiavellian stuff. And what about all that science stuff when he was explaining about the, you know, um, closed time-like curve? I really like that, Connor. And this season, we're getting a l much more, I should say a little bit more, much more of that side of him. And, and also the childish side of him, the side of him that's just in wonder. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Stephen Hawking is, you know, it was, you know, that rest his soul. Somebody who, who not only was incredibly intelligent, but also had a kind of childlike wonder about the universe. And you get much more of that side of Connor this season. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I personally, I should rephrase what I said before. Connor's not bad. Connor was seduced by the money like a lot of people were. Yeah. But he's, I think this season they're going to start really appreciating okay. his genius, not only in the science, but also putting together a team. Yeah, I mean, I think his choice of Gia and uh, Rufus tells you that he's a man who likes to hire people who are not only uh, smart and obviously very diverse, but are also good people. They're all good people. Even, um, you know, last year we had Anthony, mm -hmm. and Anthony was compromised. Yes. They had his, you know, they threatened his family. It's, mm -hmm. He wasn't a bad person. So yes. I think Connor's, Connor's heart will be revealed this season. I hope people get to like him. I will. I know I already like him, and I forgave him immediately. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for talking with me. The I look pleasure. forward to seeing you. Wakanda forever. Hey! <laughs> yeah, yeah.